Hi there, my name is Owain Evans and I'm a doctor of chiropractic working at Backspace Chiropractic in London. In this video I'll be giving you some advice on how to avoid getting foot, knee, hip and lower back pain if you spend long hours on your feet. First of all, footwear. I can't stress how important it is to wear the right shoes. Avoid high heels which can shift the body weight onto the balls and toes of the feet. And don't either wear completely flat footwear because this can place stress on the heel and Achilles. A very small heel, no more than half an inch, is really good for men and women. Arch support is really important as well and you can get over-the-counter insoles with arch support which can really help. It can feel uncomfortable to start with but you do get used to it after about a week. Make sure your footwear is the right size and not too narrow or tight. You may also wish to try compression socks if you find that you get swelling in your feet which can lead to pain and stiffness. Aside from footwear there are other things you can do to relieve and reduce discomfort. It's important to watch your standing posture at all times, trying always to have equal weight distributed on each foot. Try pelvic tilting forward and backwards until you find the midpoint, pelvic neutral. You should feel like your thighs and buttocks are slightly engaged in a little brace. This will also help to ease the pressure from your back and hips. Stand tall with your shoulders back slightly and your head in a poised position. If you have forward shoulder posture, it will also take its toll on your back and knees as your center of gravity shifts forward. Take regular breaks when you can. Whenever you can, sit down. Avoid standing to eat your lunch, for example, to give your feet a break. Take a tennis ball to work, and when you are sitting, try rolling without shoes on, rolling the tennis ball in the arch of your feet for a few minutes on each side to release the muscles. Try also making big circles with your ankles in both directions on both feet. At the end of the day, when you get home, soak your feet in warm water or a bath and put some Epsom salts or magnesium salts into the bath water. Then massage your feet with oil or cream with the thumbs of both hands in circular motions with relatively firm pressure and do that just before sleeping. Also don't forget to stretch your leg muscles, your calves, your quads, your hamstrings and your glutes first thing in the morning and last thing at night. And don't forget that body weight plays a big part in the health of our joints in the legs. So weight loss can also make a big difference. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel as well. See you soon.